Hello everyone, this is Mint. We are in Java 1.16.3 Minecraft right now, and today we're going to talk about mining fundamentals of both Bedrock and Java. Hope this guide finds you, and enjoy. So I'm going to start by showing you guys what kind of ores you can actually get from mining in the overworld. And here they all are. We have iron, gold, coal, redstone, lapis lazuli, diamond, and emerald. They all have very various uses. Iron, gold, diamond can be all used in tools, weapons, and armor. The most important ores, arguably. Coal is used as a fuel for furnaces to smelt things. For example, iron into an iron ingot and gold into a gold ingot. And many more items can also be cooked in a furnace. Coal is a decent fuel source. Redstone is very complicated. It can let you build all sorts of things from automated machines, basically end game. Awesome builds requires its own video. Lapis Azul is used in enchanting, more on that later. Emerald is used to trade with villagers. Items in exchange for emerald or items for emeralds. And diamond is pretty much the most important or basically makes you the best tools and armor and weapons in the game. You definitely want this. Very difficult to get. All of these are pretty common with exception to diamond and emerald. Lapis Azuli is rare, but it drops in very large amounts, so you don't have to be particularly worry about its rarity when you mine it. Now I'm going to show you how you would want to start out when you're mining ores. So let's say you've just started a new world and you've got squat, you don't have any ores or materials you can use to make tools, or to get tools, you want to start off with getting birch wood like so, or any wood for that matter, any kind of log. Four should be enough. Put that in your 2x2 two two crafting grid. That will make you planks. Another four planks. A crafting table. These two under sticks. Place down your crafting table. Two sticks. Three planks. A wooden pickaxe you now have. You need this 3x3 three three pattern to craft it as this is too small. Now, we need coal. Coal is used for, for fuel and furnaces, and this is iron. Now, a wooden pickaxe will not be enough to break and drop the ore from this. As you can see, nothing dropped, and it took absolutely forever to break it. So we need an upgrade. We want three cobblestone at least. That makes us a cobblestone pickaxe. This will enable us to mine iron. And we'll mine it much more quickly, as you can see. We now have three iron ore, and we need eight cobblestone for a furnace. We need to cook the iron ore in a furnace in order to make it into ingot. Only then can you then turn that iron into tools, armor, etc. Everything useful. There's your furnace. There is your fuel source, which is in the bottom. Iron ore. This will take some time to cook. As this meter runs down, you're going to be start exhausting your fuel. When that reaches zero, this will then consume another coal. You shouldn't need only any more than one. Three iron ore. Need more sticks. Pattern like so. And now you have your iron pickaxe. And that's all you need to get started for this next step. Now as i just shown you guys, you can easily get access to iron and coal in little caves like this that are very shallow, very close to the surface, and they're everywhere. They'll usually have coal and iron in them, and this will help you get started on your basic tools and armor and weapons. The limitation of mining like this, however, is it does not go very deep, and because it doesn't go very deep, you can't find diamond, redstone, lapis, or anything of value, really. So something you should get acquainted with in Java is that if you push the F3 key, this menu will come up. It will give you a ton of information, 
what we are most interested in at the moment is the XYZ subtitle there. And it will tell you exactly where on the world. We're interested in the middle coordinate. The middle coordinate at the moment for me is 72. If I go down one block, it is now 71. Down one block, it's 70. Down another, at 69. And it will go back up as we climb. On bedrock, it's slightly different. I'll show you guys how to pull up your coordinates as well. And of course, you push F3 to close it. So here we are in the Minecraft bedrock title screen. Now, if you want your coordinates to show up in your worlds, you've got your world screen here. You push your create new world. And here's all your options for it. Now, you simply want to enable show coordinates and create your world. And it will take a second to load in. Here we go. And then top left, your coordinates are there. It is that simple. You don't have to push any keys. And if you want to remove that for whatever reason, you go back into settings and you can turn them off again. That's how you get coordinates in Bedrock. Now that we're all familiar with how the coordinate system works in Java and Bedrock, what I'm going to tell you guys about now is something called branch mining. Branch mining is very simple. All you have to do is go down to the Y level 11 in your world. And that's the most common place you're going to find diamonds when you start digging. Now, to, to start off, you want to just simply dig down to Y11. One way you can do that is a staircase like this. That will work for you. But what I recommend is you dig a tunnel straight down with a certain method. What you should do first is you should grab some wood. This will allow you to make ladders. So you're going to need a substantial amount of wood, I think. Depending on how high you are in the world, of course. That was a fail. So you need a ton of sticks. That's the pattern you've got to make for a ladder. Well, you can just click on it here in the book. Shift click 54. I don't think I need that many. So we need to go to wire level 11 and we're at level 72. So 11 minus 72 is 61. So we actually need a few more. More sticks. Yep, that's more than enough. And we can now dig down. Oh, it's getting dark, shouldn't be a problem. What I recommend you do is this, dig two blocks like this, and you dig one at a time down. Now, you want to watch your little Y coordinate, which I will highlight, till you get down to level 11. Now that we're down at Y11, I have made a little start on the branch mine. Now all we need is a way up and a way down. The good thing about branch mines is you can stick them pretty much anywhere. In the backyard of your base or somewhere aesthetic, doesn't really matter. But the reason why I prefer to build a tunnel like this going straight down is that there are ways in Minecraft to go up and down with certain builds that allow you to go up and down very quickly. I'm going to, sh one way is just simply falling straight down. Now what I recommend you do is you take three iron, craft yourself a bucket like so, get some water, go back down your shaft like so. Now we want to dig a hole right here. We've already found some ore. Place water down here, and if we go back up and test it. As you can see, going up is quite slow, but in the future you can upgrade that. More on that in another video. But with that water bucket down, we can just fall down we're fine. Very quick, very easy. Make sure to land in the water because that fall will kill you. Now more on the branch mine itself. 
Now this is a good example of a branch mine. We have one large wide tunnel lit up with all these little skinny tunnels dug into the side here with every three blocks apart. When you make your initial tunnel to create your branches, so to speak, you want to make it a little wider or a little taller or you want to decorate it in some fashion so it's easy to distinguish the difference between these tunnels and this one so you don't miss your exit when you're coming out of these. Because once these are all dug out, it's just going to be a maze. You might walk through here and through another tunnel and you might blow straight past your exit and if you wanted to get out that's going to be annoying. But this is the best way to find diamonds is simply dig down these tunnels and the uh, alternative benefit is that you get pretty much every other kind of ore as you can see we've got iron we've got redstone I haven't found any diamond yet you're gonna find every ore coal iron diamond emerald if you're in the right biome more on that later and lapis is right here a good tip if you ever come across lava lakes like this falling in lava will kill you if you have a water bucket like we just crafted before place it down it will turn all that lava into obsidian which you can walk on here's our first little coal sample and yeah it's pretty simple stuff you just dig a long line down a tunnel and collect the ores as you find them Here we have our diamonds. When you do find diamonds, what you want to do is you want to excavate the area around them. You want to check for lava or anything that might break them. And voila, a vein of our first diamonds. They can spawn up to eight diamonds in a vein, by the way. This one looks to be six. This is a pretty good vein. When you're digging branches out, you want to make sure you dig a tunnel once every third block. So there's two blocks in between. If you dig down this tunnel and you find a diamond ore vein on the left side here, or on the right side, depending on what tunnel you're digging through, you're going to find the diamond, you're going to mine it, and you found it and you have it. But if you dig down this tunnel and you've dug down here, and you've already seen this wall, you're not going to find any more diamond on that wall because if you've already mined it all, you've already, you would have already seen it all. So that's a waste of time. One tip you can pick up is if you put all your torches on one side of a wall, this is very helpful in caving, not so much in branch mining, but still helpful nonetheless. If you look down this tunnel, we can't even see the end of it. So if you lose your bearings and you don't know which way you've got to go to find your exit, it's like a little trail you can follow. You can also put them on the left side, of course. But you follow the right side to find your way deeper into a cave and or tunnel, and you go this way to find a way out. And yeah, that's branch mining. One or I have yet to talk about is emerald. Emerald is an ore you can only find within the mountainous biomes, like so, pretty self-explanatory. And there's not much point in mining emerald because it is very rare, even within the biome, and it only drops one ore at any given time. The best way to find emerald is to trade with villagers, like this guy over here. More on that in another vid, but basically don't, don't mine don't for emerald, it's a waste of time. time. That's it for today everyone, if you have any more questions leave a comment below, if you have any suggestions leave a comment below, if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe, have a good day, see ya!